we have found where we're gonna camp. We're gonna grab what we need and hike down. What the? Remember that? What was that? A Budweiser commercial or something? We got ourselves a nice ugly campsite. Check it out. So this is our cooking camp. It's about 75 to 100 yards away from our campground where we're gonna be sleeping because this is known as bear territory. There have been many encounters and even last year in July of 2019, there were, it was actually closed down for a little while because of the amount of bears. And it's because so many people leave trash around. It's, it's absolutely horrible. Um, so we are gonna keep things clean. We're gonna play safe and cook our food far away from our campsite. We're not trying to be Captain Planet, but like, it doesn't take a lot of effort to bag everything. We're gonna make some nice steak. Oh, hi Diddy. How you feeling, man? Feeling good. So this is the thirteenth time for me. What what is what is this for you? I think this is like the eighth, ninth, or something this season. Probably. It's crazy. But uh, we just can't stop being in the mountains. We we technically kind of live in the woods uh, two days a week. We live down in the North Shore, and uh, you just can't get this type of wilderness. Seven weekends in a row for me. Seven, oh, that's a great streak. Seven weekends in a row, folks. So we're tied, actually, because I, I stopped at the seven weekends in a row. Well, I stayed in a hotel one, one of the weekends. Look at this. This is out of control. Look at that thing. It's almost dinner time. Even the dog's gonna get a couple pieces. Well done, but still juicy. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, a little hot. Good. Look at the dog behind you. She wants them so bad. Don't worry, doggy. Once that <laughs> once that stuff cools down, you're gonna have some. Got to cool down, doggy. How is it? It's so good I can barely talk. I mean, seriously. I like my stuff kind of well done, and I like it um, a little crispy. Mm. This is seriously so good. I like the safety in cooking it well done, because you don't have to worry about bacteria. Mm. I'm gonna give some of the doggy, hold on. Oh, yeah. Let's 
kind of windy, so apologies if the audio is kind of eh. But this stuff is harder to find than you think. This is chaga, and it's grown on uh, birch trees mostly, I believe. And this is like a superfood. You can actually make a tea out of it, and you can also use it to, uh, to make a fire. See how it looks like kind of like burnt, like crap, but the inside is don't is uh wait maybe we make us some tea See why I love birch bark. Even though it rained all day yesterday, it's a fantastic tinder. You can get a fire lit pretty quickly with the good old birch. Hey. It's gonna be cold tonight. We're gonna have a big roaring fire. We brought extra clothes. We're gonna get more wood, plenty of more wood. And our cooking camp is far away and we already stash that food so we're ready to have a good time we'll document some of tonight i got clothes on my back and shoes on my feet Roof over my head and something to eat. Sometimes I think it's amazing. I think I survive. It's evil out there. It's amazing that I'm alive. It's been a hard. Where do we gotta go? Went down there, like right down that crack where that stick is laying down. That's where he went. This way? I saw him, yeah. Oh, he went down across the river? And he went down that way, that's the last time I saw him. He ran back from up here. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. Dee -dee. We're running out of battery. We woke up this morning and decided to cook some chicken over the fire. It was cold last night. We were prepared and we dressed warm. But you can definitely feel that the fall is on its way. Mm. Look at this. Mm. That's how you start out the morning. Roasted chicken, yo. Yeah. This reminds me of when I was a little kid 
and would visit Portugal. And my family always would be cooking over fire. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I highly recommend doing this. This is delicious. We're up in the White Mountains and trying to escape the hand that 2020 has dealt us. A lot of people are coming up here, leaving plastic everywhere. We'll do a little cleanup before we leave.